Feeling footloose and fancy free, the four of us, feather brained young fellows, frittered our father's farthings and wandered far afield in a Ford Fairlane to fuel our fantasies August 1st, 1955, by winning Arthur Godfrey's Talent Scouts. Great fun for us. Thank you very much. Thanks. Not long after that, we went over to Cleveland and uh, met a disc jockey named Dr. Bill Randall, who had discovered Elvis Presley at that time, and uh, Dizzy Gillespie, and, and a lot of other people. He liked the way we sang. He showed us uh, Why Do Fools Fall in Love, the Frankie Lyman recording. He said, make a good recording of this, and uh, I can help make it a hit. It became the first of the 16 that we enjoyed on the Mercury label. Along about the time we uh, were halfway through our, our hit record-making career, uh, we were invited to join Rock and Roll's first major touring show, in spite of the fact that we were still four blue-eyed, semi-virgin white guys from Toronto in brown three-button suits. And for 60 consecutive one-nighters, we barnstormed North America having a fabulous time, making what turned out to be historic music. And, uh, and so you prove that here this evening, as a matter of fact. And thank you so much, Sandy, for having us over. This is a fabulous party, one that will uh, remain in our memories for a long, long time. Okay, so we are... Uh, yes, indeed. Thank you. As we, uh, as we climbed into the old Greyhound that took us from uh, venue to venue for the next two months, first person I recognized was the guy sitting right behind the driver. It was that fabulous singer, songwriter, guitar player, Duck Walker, known as uh, Chuck Berry. And, and during those 60 days, occasionally he would borrow my acoustic guitar, and he would scotch tape the bus driver's microphone in the on position. He'd stick it inside the guitar to make it louder, and we'd have some sing-alongs. It was good at some of the shows. Just give me some of that! Yeah, it's not a big, do-boom thing. 